So you've decided to go for the bonus. Um, so you want to bring that flower up and have the shaky head with it. Um, so to do that can be quite tedious and this is why I would recommend this one probably for the seniors more so than the uppers but if you uppers want to give it a shot you can definitely try it. On that note I want to stress that you should have your original PSD file but also um, create a whole new file that you can save to so you're not saving over top of your original so I've renamed my original original and then I have the one that I'm working on so I'm going to move that to the edge and it's a good idea to put that on on the outside so that you know this is your original you're not touching that one now I have two other ones here but that's because I want to show them as examples okay so I want to show you what we are looking to do so let's go over to the file, to the one that I finished, and go to GIF. So here is the one that we are trying to copy. right? So instead of just the shaky head, we have the flower popping up as well. Well, let's go to the one we're going to work on. And this is where I say it's tedious, because this means a lot of duplicating. So what we need to do first so we need to duplicate some flowers. We have to do uh, nine flowers. So now you're going to go over to your layer. You're going to click on the flower. You're going to go over to your layer. You're going to duplicate. You're going to do this eight times because you've already got one flower there. So duplicate. So I should have nine flowers, eight copies. Now we have the four faces. We are only going to do five faces of this one. And I'll show you which one. This one here. So we're going to do five. So that means four because we already have this one. So duplicate that four times. Okay, so now we have four. So here is the tedious part. Now we have to match up the faces with the flowers. So to do that, you click on the, the lowest face, the one that is on the bottom, and you drag it down. Sometimes it works really well where you can drag it all the way down. Other times you might struggle with it. So if that's the case, you can just drink, bring it down one by one. It's just a matter of holding it and pulling it down with the other and so when you're scrolling it's kind of it can be kind of difficult to pull it down okay so now you should have a flower a face a flower a face a flower a face and so on and so forth um, so then the next step actually before we can pair these up because that's what we're gonna do is you have to make sure that they say uh, in their um, title underscore a underscore um, and you have to go all the way up um, as well as the first one so we go underscore oops, underscore a underscore and so on so make sure all of them have that you have to worry about right now the rest of the title as long as it has underscore a underscore Okay, next step. And this is where I'm talking about it being tedious. Next up, we have to pair these up. So pairing them up, you click on the uh, layer and you click on both those two layers. So click on one layer, the flower, and then hold down shift. Click on the face above it. Click layer, scroll down to merge layers. And then they've merged. So now you're going to do that all the way up, faces and flowers. One quick thing though, before you start merging all of your images together, just make sure that you have turned that eyeball back on. Because if you don't turn it back on, all it's going to see is the flower. It's not going to copy that. It's not going to merge the face with it. So just take note of that. There they are, all paired up. So now what's next? You have to actually um, move these images, these um, flower faces, 
in the positions that they should be so that they can look like they're animated. We're going to start with the bottom one, the first one. We're going to move that down, but before you do, before you move anything, you're going to click off the above eyeballs. So go all the way up, click them off. And you don't have to worry about the roses, but just the flowers, just so you can see it better as you're moving along. Okay, so we're going to make sure that um, bottom flower layer is on, and we're moving it down, and we'll move it down like as it's coming out. There we go. So next, now you turn on the eyeball so you can see it. There's a technical name for that, and I have forgotten it. <laughs> but I will look it up for you if you guys are interested in knowing the technical name. Um, now go to the next one. Turn on the eyeball, lower it down to where you think it should be. There, as it's coming out. Next one, eyeball, down, and this one I think we can leave there. And now the next four are the um, shaky faces. So we look at that one, that guy's shaking. We look at this one, he's shaking that way, and so on. So we're gonna leave those ones there. So now what do we do? What's next? Well, Let's take a look at it the way it is right now. So let's go to export and GIF. And this is what it looks like now. Oh, there's something off. So what do we do to fix that? We have to pair one of these guys, the face and the flowers with the roses. And to do that, we are going to put them in uh, folders. So again, we're going to highlight each one holding shift down so that we can select all of these roses or balls. You probably have it listed as balls. Um, do all of those and then I'm going to make a folder. So that goes into the folder. So if we open that folder, they're all in there plus one of the faces is in there. So we're going to close that. So if we just did that, what would it look like? Well, let's take a peek. Export, GIF. But where are the balls? Oh, the balls are after. So how can we make them work together? Well, we're going to put the faces in a folder, and then we're going to merge the two folders. So now we have to click on the faces. Click. Again, you're holding your shift key down while you're clicking, clicking, clicking. And down here, this is where I hit the folder. It's, it looks like a little folder. You're going to click on that. And it says new fold. So we're going to click on that folder again. So now we have two folders, two folders in there. Let's take a quick peek again. How does that look if we just have the two folders and not merge them together? Well, looks good so far. But again, they're not together, they're separate. Those two folders are now separate. So we want that um, flower to come up and the balls to happen at the same time. How do we do that? We used our shift key to highlight those two. So let's do it again. There, shift, folder two, go to layer. You're gonna scroll down. Instead of hitting merge layer, you're gonna go to animation and then there's a merge button here. So animation, merge. So now you've merged those two. You've got the text up here and the, the background there. Let's take a look and see. Is it what we want? Yes, it is. So there you go. And you can speed it up too if you want, but I find it's way too fast. I like to keep the speed a little bit slower, not too slow. Like maybe right there. All right, so that's that. Um, I hope you had fun with this. Don't forget to save. So there, I've saved it. It's good to go. Um, thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it wasn't too frustrating. Um, if you do have any issues with it, please message me. I'll be happy to help you. Just tell me what step you're on. Okay, thanks so much, and have a wonderful weekend.